All right, guys, so I just barely downloaded the latest version of Unity, which is 2019 1.0 F2. And I did it this time with the Unity Hub. I, I normally have multiple versions and I manually download each installer. So if you're curious, go ahead and download the Unity Hub because it's really going to help you in keeping your projects up to date. And not only that, you don't need to, you can keep multiple versions and this basically handles everything for you. You can open a project and you can tell it what version you want to run it on. So that's what I did this time. The other thing that I did, I went into, I was looking at the documentation for some of the things that released today for Unity, which is a lot of information. But what I wanted to show you is if you need to download the new version of Unity, go ahead and go into products on unity3d.com Unity. And then simply what I normally do is I, you know, I just click on get started. Once I go there, I go all the way to the very bottom and then click on download the latest version. And then if you haven't downloaded the Unity Hub, just go ahead and download it. And after that, all you have to do is just install the version from Unity Hub. And it's going to ask you which version you want to install, which I did 2018, that one. All right. So today I want to show you a couple of things as well. So this project that I have right now is a project that I created yesterday and it's for, it's for Magic Leap. I'm working on, on an augmented reality game and I'm also doing videos for augmented reality. But what I want to talk about is how we can use a couple of features that are available for the new version of Unity, which is one is going to be quick search. The other one is going to be shortcuts. So I want to focus on those two features today and basically show you how we can use some of those. So to get the quick search up and running, you got to go into window and then package manager. And this is going to be a new version, basically a new package. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, just click, just search for quick. And then that's going to give you a quick search. Then just click on install to install it. And it's going to compile and download a couple of scripts. Once this one is completed, I want to, I want to show you how to use it. It's actually fairly easy. And if you have a Mac, it's, it's very similar to the Mac, basically the spotlight search where you can search for, you know, basically anything in your computer and it'll, it's already indexed. It'll automatically give you all the different options, the different type of files. So that's what quick search is. If you're using windows, the search is also pretty powerful. It's very similar to that. So let me do that. And the other thing that I want to show you once we get that done is shortcuts. So first let's go in and, and look at how quick search works. So if you look at what I have in the hierarchy right now, is I have a lot of different objects and not only have a lot of objects in the hierarchy, I also have a lot of objects under the project. So if we look at the project, I have, you know, under the Magic Leap folder, I have examples and, and a lot of times it's really hard to search for things. You have to, okay, if I want to search for items in the hierarchy, I have to go into the hierarchy and search for, you know, if I'm, if I'm searching for model, I will type in model. And if I need to search the project, I would need to search in here and type in, you know, model as well. And so what what Unity is doing is they basically compile everything into one single search that will allow you to basically search for anything in the project. And to do that, I'm using Mac. So on the Mac, it's going to be Option Shift O. And if you do Option Shift O, you basically get this search, which basically looks like the spotlight search. And what I can do now is I know that I have in the solution, I have a hand tracking controller. So now I can say, okay, hand tracking controller. And I can also use my arrow key to go up and down. And the cool thing is I can also see that this is a prefab and a game object. And I can also see that this other one is a C-sharp file. So let's see, let's say that I wanted to open the C-sharp file. You also have these three dots. So if you wanted to open the asset, you wanted to select the asset or you want to re reveal it in the finder, you can do that as well, which is really handy. And so if I want to open the hand tracking controller, all I can do is just select it. And then what it's going to do is actually going to tell me where it's located in the project directory. And then I can just basically just open it up and it's already available for me. I could have done the same thing with the basically the prefab. If I go and select the prefab, you can kind of see that not only it found it in the hierarchy and it highlighted it, but it also find it in the scene view. So if I had everything here, you know, basically collapse and, and maybe I was, you know, in a different view and I would do that again, I can actually go down, select it 
and then now I see I have it highlighted in the hierarchy and I also have it highlighted in my scene view which is really really helpful so let's try that one more time with something else let's say that I was looking for the post-processing profile so I can do my my option shift O one more time and type in the word post-processing you can kind of see that I'm getting a lot of different matches I can say post maybe I can just do post process profile and that's gonna give me the asset and there is the asset I could have done the same thing with some of the low uh, low rendering low way rendering pipeline I always have an issue with that word LWRP pipeline so I could have done the same thing there and select it so you can see that it's searching everything so the search is really really powerful so the other thing let's say that you don't know what keys are mapped to the quick search so one thing that I did is because the documentation on the package wasn't up to date. So if we go back into the package manager and we look at we look for quick search, you can kind of see that on Windows simply play, press Alt Plus to find anything or Option Plus on the Mac. That didn't really work for me on the Mac. So the way that I found I found that is by using one of the new features that Unity provides that I really really like, and that is if you go to Unity and then shortcuts and you have this big menu that tells you everything that is mapped to something in your keyboard so you can kind of see I you know all the different categories so if I want to look at all the unity commands I can look at all the different unity commands and even the commands that are not mapped to anything are basically not going to show a shortcut associated with them but for the most part the ones that are associated are the ones that unity provides you by default and then if you want to extend it and add more shortcuts for other things, you, you now have the capability to do that. So let's say that I wanted to search and see how quick search can be open. And that's how I found it. So I know that now I can press the shift key and the option key and the letter up to open the quick search, which is why I was able to find, find that. So I know that if I do, you know, this other option, I can do, I can do a quick search asset. I can do a quick search menu by using, you know, the option shift and M. The same thing with a scene, I could do it with the option op option shift and S. So you have a lot, a lot of different options in there to do that. So let's say that I wanted to do something different. Let's say that I wanted to create maybe a text, let's see, a text mesh component. So if we go in here and we can look at, so if you wanted to create, let's say, one of these text mesh pro assets, let me go down to to this one right here so that I wanted to create that that one without having to go through the menu the main menu component UI text match pro so what I can do is I can double click on the shortcut I can hold my shift option let's say that I map that to T and that will be mapped to that so now what I can do and I don't need, even need to close out of this I can go here and I can basically press those three keys and that should have let's see let me try that one more time and that should have created it but it didn't create it <laughs> i think i'm selecting the wrong component let me try that one more time and let's delete it and let's go here where it says main menu there we go i think i was on the wrong component so if we wanted to do a create see i have create text mesh pro so if i go into components and we go into let's see if i can find it Let's see game objects UI and if I select that oh there we go okay so that that's that's how I got to it so let's go ahead and undo so I did game object and then we did UI and then we did the option text mesh pro so let's do let's search for that again so if we do assets create so I think we're looking for there we go so we're looking for game object UI and then so I was I was actually creating something completely different so I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to double click on the shortcut and then select my shift option T and I'm going to map it to that. And I could have done the same thing with just basically a regular, you know, a regular text box or any other option that I have in here. So now if I do the option shift T, you can see that I'm creating those and I can do that multiple times. And now I don't need to go into the menu and I have a shortcut to be able to create those, which is really, really cool. Let's see if we can find the let's see if we can find the other. Let's actually type in let's type in game object UI. There we go. So that's much easier if we do it that way. Let's say that I wanted to create an image and we could map that one to shift option I 
and I could do also a drop down. Let's actually do Option Shift D. Okay, so now that I did that, I have those two map. I can say, okay, I want to do an image. I want to do another image. I want to do a drop down. So every time that's creating an image is because I'm I'm holding Option Shift and I. If I want to do Option Shift and D, it's going to create a drop down. So this is really really cool because you can now customize you know the key bindings for different executions that are only available through the ui so i'm going to go ahead and delete this piece so that's basically everything that i wanted to show you today guys if you guys have any questions let me know all right guys thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions let me know through the comments also don't forget to check out gamedev.net they have amazing resources for game developers that are either studying or have advanced experience in the field also don't forget to check out my patreon which i'm using to fund this channel Basically, I'm going to be looking for getting a video editor and that video editor professional is going to help me in editing the future videos. So Patreon is going to help me with that. So thank you very much for watching, guys.